pass over here. Get fucked, dipshit. Is that a- Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! Dude, my horse! What the fuck? Dude! Dude, you fucking asshole! No, you're not. You're not getting away after what you did. Bonnie gave me that horse. Oh, now I'm gonna get a new horse, but still, you little dipshit. I got a cougar pelt now. Jesus, Murphy, man. Oh, holy shit, there's another one! What the f- And there's a snake, too? Where is it? I'm done with your guys' bullshit. Get out of here. John? Marshal? Gentlemen! <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, <clears throat> when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Wonder who's the near deputy deputy. Ooh, this is gonna be sick. Esconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. They're literally right outside the fortress. How come right, nobody good. sees us? Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. <coughs> Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, Rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. Now be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can 
keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> oh, yeah. In, maybe not in all the steel in the world, but maybe bullets go through you, motherfuckers. Bow! Get trimmed down, baby! You wanna frickin' say that again, you sick, freaky little son of a bitch? Where is he? I see the red dot. Oh, there he is. Haha, I got you, buddy. You're dead. Well, goodbye, Advita Sane. Dude, there are so many coming out. Yeah! Woo, doggy. Fucking dang pig! Them cock sucking son bitches escaped the other side of the fort! Alright, I don't even know what they. I, I couldn't even. What did he just say? Sorry, Marshall. I gotta get up there first. I think my work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. Bye, Marshall. I mean, bye, uh, West Dickens. I'll see you later. Gotcha. Who's next? Stop doing that. Oh, there he is. Gotcha. Where is this guy? Oh, he's just hiding. There he is. I found you. I'm gonna take out my shotgun for this fella. Coming. Oh shit. You okay, buddy? You okay, little buddy? That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! General Adam let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh, the Get the hell? goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Uh-oh. What are we gonna do? A hundred? That doesn't look like a hundred. Oh, okay, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. You freaking geniuses. I don't want to kill horsies, please. Please. No, I just killed a bunch of horsies, man. Come on. I'm going to try to not kill horsies here, alright? If it happens, it's an accident. Perfect. No, we killed the horse! Oh, you son of a bitch! You're dead now. Do 
Dude, I take supplements. I know how to kill people. Bill ain't here. We looked everywhere. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I Marcy. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> That's bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you all. They are beating the West shit Dickens. out of that guy. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. Seth, you can take this camp. It's all yours, buddy. You earned it. You could probably find some rich treasures in there, too. Aha! Oh, and I got a, a, an achievement! It's pretty cool, pretty cool! Let's go to Irish. See if this guy's not gonna backstab me. Let's go. Again. Irish! You better have my boat ready! <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston! I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax, we'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey, well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London, or Paris, or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Okay. Um. Oh, there's a rifle. Oh, a new gun. In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? Four bullets. We had in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. What well, the f Come now. on. We're just trying to get to the other we'll side. The we'll drift down river. Oh, ma'am. You do not want to cut that rope. Oh, shit. Why would you stuff ammunition if you if everybody loves you here? That makes no sense. It's 
clearly you knew somebody was gonna shoot at you, Irish. Welcome to Mexico, Johnny Boy. Makes Austin look like Buckingham Palace. Look out for those people around the horses. Remember, horses are not on our list. I love horses. <sighs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. All right, you're gonna die, buddy. I'm gonna try to shoot that. Got it. Chupa mi huevos, puta! Aha, I got rif more rifle ammo. Oh, this is kind of easy. What am I talking? I have auto aim on. Of course, it's easy. Reload, reload, reload. Is that all of them? That must be all of them. This is the fourth time your so called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that polka? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? They're still coming! Oh, what? Oh, come on, man. Alright, that wasn't that bad. I mean, at least we get to shoot something while we're on the raft. Oh, shit! That one's gonna hit us. Oh, shit. That one landed in the boat! Oh. Horses look fresher <laughs> Woo! and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man. Uh, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny. But he's real nice. Uh, failing that, uh, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three-card stud with him. Uh, or was it four-card Monty? <laughs> I forget. I, he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one. <laughs> okay. No, we don't need this horse. Wait, hold on. We could just do this. Whistle. Oh, shit! 
All right. First kill over here on land, not on a boat, but on a land on land in Mexico. Oh, we're in the city. Let's see what's going on with London Ricketts. Hey, gringo! Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo. Slippery little Mexican, oh. no, little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Comprende? Hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm? could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I, too, have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants? <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. Not many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Huh, okay. Well, that was a good start to a friendship. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? <laughs> Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. 
waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a, with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come well, on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. And... Perfect! We got it. Now, that wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. Oh, we got a new pistol. What? Skull feet. Oh, that's the birds nice. Around here always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Ain't we gonna spook the town folk with all this shooting? This is from the man who walked in here earlier and gunned down three bandits in the middle of the street? No, don't worry. The people here know me and love me. Okay. Are we ready? Wait, do I have to get closer? Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Bow, 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 bow. Uh, let's let's loot some birds a little bit. Let's get some feathers. It's like you kill a bird just to pick up one feather. Look at that. <laughs> oh shit! I got a feather. London Ricketts. Senor Ricketts. Senor Ricketts. Senor Ricketts. Senor Ricketts. Por favor, Senor. Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa! Slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. All right. I, think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Come on, these people need me. Let's go then. Let's go save this guy Easy now. that needs help. Let's go. My lord. So why are you looking for these two men? It's a long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their head. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they made. There they are. Follow me. Hey, buddy. What the hell? What are you doing? You're getting it now, Marston. What? Oh, I shot his gun. I keep on shooting his gun. Die, you fat man. There we go. Gracias a Dios. Me salvaron la vida. All right, let's move out. Everybody stay alert. Let's go. We got you, bud, brother. I can see you haven't lost your touch, Landon. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon Ricketts partner, young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard as a boy were true, you know. Need it, senor. I'm with you, Go on, just like I thought. Come on. Looks like that's all of them. Come on, let's keep moving. 
So much for this quiet life of yours, Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not gonna stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. Damn right they don't, my sarcastic little apprentice. <laughs> he called me apprentice. Mad, he's he, I'm his little apprentice. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Perfect. Current dead eye level three out of three. We have full dead eye now. Um. Now what we should do? We should go in here and buy ourselves this place. Oh, we got the freaking dude. We got a bed, a normal looking bed. That is awesome. And if you buy a house in Mexico, you get a poncho. That's freaking sweet, dude. This is we're going to be rocking this outfit for a while. I'm saying that right now. Okay, guys. That is it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed. We are currently rocking in Mexico. And we are rocking the Mexican poncho. Woo, doggy. That is freaking sick. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys have a... You all, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.